So here, we're dividing a four-digit number by a single-digit number, but for these questions, we're going to get remainders in our answer. And we can see, if we look at this first question, we can see straight away that we'll have a remainder, because we're dividing by five, but all multiples of five always end in a five or a zero, but this number here ends in a one. So, we can set out the division as a short division. Five divided by five is one, because one times five is five. Now, four divided by five is zero remainder four. That's because zero times five is zero, and then we need four more to get to four. Now, 48 divided by 5 is 9 remainder 3, because 9 times 5 is 45, and then we need 3 more to get to 48. Now, 31 divided by 5 is 6 remainder 1, but we don't have any more digits to write our remainder in front of, so we just write 6 remainder 1 in our answer. So, 5,481 divided by 5 is 1,069 remainder 1. Now, we have 4,181 divided by 7. If we look at this first digit, 4 is less than 7, so when this happens, we can take the first two digits together. Now, 41 divided by 7 is 5 remainder 6. That's because 5 times 7 is 35. Then from 35, we need 6 more to get to 41. Now, 68 divided by 7 is 9 remainder 5, because 9 times 7 is 63, but then we need 5 more to get to 68. And 51 divided by 7 is 7 remainder 2, because 7 times 7 is 49, but then we need 2 more to get to 51. So our answer is 597 remainder 2. Now, 9651 divided by 8. Taking the first digit, 9 divided by 8 is 1 remainder 1, because 1 times 8 is 8, but then we need 1 more to get to 9. 16 divided by 8 is exactly 2, with no remainder, because 2 times 8 is exactly 16. Now, 5 divided by 8 is 0 remainder 5 because 0 times 8 is 0, and then we need 5 more to get to 5. Now, 51 divided by 8 is 6 remainder 3, because 6 times 8 is 48, but then we need 3 more to get to 51. So our answer is 1,206 remainder 3.